Hey guys, it's Charmise and I am so excited today because I will be showing you guys my first building. Like I never thought this would happen. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited. So I'm just going to give you a general tour first. It is empty. Um, I just got the keys two days ago so I still have to clean off the last person's stuff because they, they left at 2.30 and I literally came to pick up the keys around 4 o'clock, a little bit before 4 o'clock. So... I have exactly what was left in there and then I've been dropping off some stuff every time I come over so yeah it's empty it's not all the way clean but it's mine so yeah I just want to show you guys this so that when I show you the transformation you can appreciate it more so stay tuned to the end because I will be chit chatting a little bit about the price the square footage what I wanted in a building and what you know what I actually got and um, yeah some other stuff so yeah let's get into it Okay, so this is the building, and my sign will end up right about here somewhere. That's where everybody else has theirs. And of course, all of this stuff will come off. I'm gonna have to adjust my camera here. So when you first walk in, this is the first room that you will come into, and this red wall definitely has to go because that's not my color at all, and it's very bold. Like, it's a very bold color. There was a security place here before, so I guess it makes sense, but yes. So I think I'm gonna have some like bookcases with some stuff on it. I don't want to store. I've never wanted to store. I don't think I'll ever want to store. <laughs> but I do want a showroom for people that I know that already pick up from my house. They can pick up from here and it'll just be like a area right here. And then if you have already ordered online, you can just pick up over here when I'm here. You know, it's gonna be like specific times and days for that. And then you open this door and then you get to the rest of the building. So this first room, I think will actually be my favorite room. Uh, another wall that has to go. There's only two walls that I'm gonna paint over. It's just these two red walls. But yes, this is my YouTube room slash photography room. So my new set will be here once I fix everything, get everything moved in because I love the, the shelves and then the cabinets down here. Um, and then of course, there's a giant window which is kind of blurred out, but you see it, you see there's a window. And then over here are the swatches of what I'm thinking about painting. I'm thinking this color for uh, painting over the red walls. I was going through all these, but this one's a little too dark, but that kind of is my actual color for my business. But I'm liking this one. We'll see. I think me and my fiance are actually gonna paint it because I'm a DIY type of person. So yeah, all right. So this next room actually creeped me out when I first <laughs> came in because they were like it was like locked. As you can see, there's a lock on here. And it's the only room that just doesn't stay open. And then so when I walked in, it takes a little while for these lights to come on. But you see this right here. I think that's just because they had all the security stuff over there. But they could have took that. And then there's a camera right there. Like, yeah, creeped me out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. But, yeah. And then my bathroom right here. And then this one will actually be my office. Um, I'm thinking my office anyway. I'm not quite sure. So that's the first office. And then I have this room right here. I think this will be where I make the bath bombs and bath salts. And then I have this room right here. This is the last office. And I think I'm going to make my soaps here after I, you know, fix their wires and whatnot. And then now we walk into the reason I bought the place. If you saw my other video, I did say I wanted a flex space, so I wanted some office and then some warehouse. So here's my warehouse. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Um, of course, there's already stuff in here because every time I come, I drop some stuff off. We'll be officially moving like the big stuff on Monday um, when everybody's off work. But I have a key of soul and I just pack it to the brim. Actually, I have some stuff I need to bring in right now, but... I think it's fine out there. It seems safe, so. <laughs> and then yes, you see my big old door. That's what I wanted because I know that, you know, it makes me feel official to have a big old door where you have to back up and get all my deliveries. So, um, yeah, that's my space. 
So now let's, uh, you know, talk about price and all that other stuff, but let me get comfortable first. Okay, sorry if I start sweating, but it's hot in here because I don't feel like paying for the air just yet because I don't, I'm not in here. So yeah, things I have to think about now. But yeah, um, monthly, I will be paying $1,700 a month. I am in Greenville, South Carolina, which it can go from dirt cheap to very expensive real fast, depending on what part of Greenville. I am off a very major road, um, and I'm not in the busiest part of the road, but I am on the end of it, so it's still kind of expensive. It was, my cap was to spend 17, well, no, it was 1800 I think, a month. And I was like, okay, this is fine. I didn't want to spend this much, but for the security that I get, um, and they do all the landscaping outside and everything, and it seems like a very safe place to be. I've been in the other businesses in the park before and never had any issues. And when I, when I first started looking at buildings years ago when I was thinking about doing a photography studio, this was one of the five places that I had um, scoped out to see. And so... I got it just for a different business, but yes, $1,700 a month, and it is somewhere over 1,600 square feet. I'll put the exact down here, but yes, um, there it had a 1,900 square foot, and I was just like, no, I think I think the 16 will do me just fine, and I will have to pay for power and water. And um, so one of the things that I really wanted was a flex space, like I've already said, but that is because I know that I will have to hire people probably around the holidays because last year it got crazy and I got very overwhelmed and so I didn't do as much as I could have done so I'm gonna hire people but I with me being an introvert I did not want to have to be in the same room as people all day and that's not I don't need to be like rude or anything I just my people meter goes really fast and so I wanted separate rooms where uh, you know, one person can be in one room or a couple people can be out here and then I can be working on bath bombs in the bath bomb room or something like that. And I don't mind, you know, being pe around people, just not all day, um, especially since I get stressed and people don't need to see that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, that's why I wanted separate spaces. I know it's kind of weird, but it works for me and I, I love it. Um, so I don't know everything I'm, that I'm gonna do with this big space out here. I know I do want my fulfillment over here and I think storage will be on this wall right here. Um, and a bunch of shelves, of, of course. And then that creepy room will probably be another storage room um, until somebody needs an office or something. Then I might give them the creepy room. Um, Another one of my requirements was to not be over 10 minutes away from my house because I have gotten used to not having to leave my house um, through the pandemic. I've been working at home. I still work at home. I don't even leave to go to the post office. They come pick it up. And so this place is actually nine minutes away from my house. So that works perfectly fine. It's just under my uh, requirement of 10 minutes. And then of course, my first and foremost thing was safety. And like I said, this does seem like a very safe place to be. Um, people leave around five and six, like it's like a typical office park. People don't just stay late. I'll see probably two cars in the whole park. Um, and I don't know if they've just been sitting there. <laughs> but yes, between me and my fiance, we decided that I had to be very, very safe. I already bought my security system. I have the, I'm gonna have the ring system set up in here because it's cheap. Uh, well, as far as security systems go, it's cheap and it's secure, I think. So um, yes, I have the doorbell and I have the cameras. Then I also have like the keypad where you put in, you know, the security code and everything. And so, yes, this place seems very safe. I will be leaving around six o'clock every day because I plan on splitting the time between my full-time job in the morning and then coming here halfway through um, my full-time job, like on my lunch break, and start and then leave around six, unless it's the holidays and then somebody will be here anyway. So I won't feel so, um, you know, scared because I am very paranoid. I am so excited about my new space. Um, yeah, if you've been with me for a while, you know I was in the sunroom, the tiny sunroom. And before that, I was on the kitchen counter at my apartment. So kitchen counter, sunroom, to the garage, outgrew the garage, and so I had to get a building. Wasn't planning on doing it this early, but here I am, and I am so happy. I showed my grandma, um, for a lot, of course, a lot of people don't know, but I don't have my parents. So they passed before I turned 20. And then I don't have any other grandparents. I just have my grandma. 
And so I showed her and she didn't even know that I had got the build and signed the lease or anything. She just thought, you know, I was making soap. And of course, in her mind, it's just like a hobby, like you don't just make soap for a, a career or anything. So <laughs> I told her to get dressed and that I would be there. And then so I picked her up. She's like, where are we going? Where are we going? And so like I got out. I think I do have video, so I'll post it soon on probably TikTok or Instagram. Um, but yeah, she, she said, where are we going? And so we got, I got out the car and she was like sitting there. She was like, am I supposed to get out? I was like, yes, because this is my new building. Oh, she was so happy. She was so proud of me. Um, whew. That, that means so much because um, I know my mom would be proud too. I wish she could see it. But anyway, let's not go down that road. Um, yes, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and all of you people who support me out there. I know there are so many people out there that support me and so many people rooting for me. I've seen you on my Instagram, um, you know, telling me congratulations and everything because I already posted it on Instagram. Um, Thank you guys so much for always rooting for me and supporting me and this is this is huge for Charmed and huge for me and huge for the YouTube channel. So yeah, I can't wait to bring you more vlogs about, you know, updating the place and cleaning and painting and moving and all that stuff. Yep. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.